Okay, this is a tutorial in how to make it. It's a it's a complex uh, it's a combination of two power clips, and I'm just gonna show you our objective here. Uh, our objective is if you take a look at this image here, it's kind of cut out, but then here it's in front of the text. So that's what we're gonna do. So what I did, I'm, I did extract the image, which is this one, and uh, we're going to start uh, the tutorials by power clipping the shape of this uh, girl. Okay, first of all, I'm going to make a path because we're going to put the picture inside the path using the power clip uh, method. Okay, just going to trace, 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 trace. Okay, and then I'm just going to go like this and close it. Okay, so that's my path. Okay, before we do the power clip, uh, make sure in options. Okay, so when you click on tools, go to options. Uh, make sure this one, and you click on edit. Make sure auto center new power clip contents is unchecked. And click OK. You're gonna power clip this one, so you click on the photograph and go to effects, power clip, place inside a container. Okay, my container is this one, click there. Okay, and then if you want to remove the outline, just go to your outline tool and click on X. Perfect, that's one. Now, going back to our original drawing, is that okay? So, I may I'm going to make an ellipse. Okay, so that's my first ellipse, and then second ellipse. Okay, uh, what you can do, you can plus sign, okay, to duplicate, and then shrink it down. Okay, you hold on the shift key so that it would center it going inside. Okay, or what you can do, you can always you know make a circle. Okay, but while you're doing making the ellipse, okay. Hold on control to make a perfect circle. Click and drag. Okay. And then just set it up one there. Hold on control. Okay. Now if you want to make that center, so you click on the first big circle and then the small circle and type in C and E to center. Okay. So I'm done with this one. I'll make it smaller a bit. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this inside. See, if I'm going to power clip this one, I'm going to do a power clip again. Click on this uh, image and then go to Arrange, uh, sorry, Effect, Power Clip, place inside the container. And I click on the inner circle. See, the head is cut off. right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a complex um, power clip here. So first of all, Large it. So I'm going to click on the small circle. Okay. And then I'm going to my shape tool here. And in here, the node on top here, I'm going to make it as an open path. So you click on that one and then move it far away. Okay. And then move this far away too. Because our objective is we're going to power clip this one and this one. Okay, I forgot to copy that one, so we have to undo it first. Okay, first thing we have to do before doing that, click on the inner circle and then copy. So you go edit copy. Okay, so that we have one in the clipboard. Okay, so now we again we do it again. Click on the inner circle and go to your shape tool, and then move that node far away, and we're gonna make it as an open path. So that's an open path now, right? So that's an open path. Okay, so you click on the open path. Okay, now when, once you're doing that one, see if I move this going inside, it's not going to be an open path. Okay, make sure your cursor moves out. Okay, okay so I'm going to click on the open path and then hold on shift and then click on the, the image. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my simplify. So when you click on simplify, 
okay it's going to uh, retain the shape so I can delete this now okay and then choose this one choose the image with a power clip and go to arrange break power clip curve apart okay now if I move this down then I can delete that now remember we copy the inner circle then we can paste the inner circle now right then we can put this behind uh, the image so you go arrange order to back page right then what you can do you can combine these two or you can actually make this one see, a different color background pink and then you can choose the outer circle make it red and go arrange order to back page Here. So now we achieve the, that objective. If you take a look there, it's simple and you can always do it with other stuff like for example here. Right? So it's the same thing, same method. Okay, I think we still have time. What we're going to do is we're going to make this one here. Okay, now we're going to do uh, this shape here. Just going to move this over here. And we're going to do the same thing here. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to duplicate this image. Move it up to here. Right? Okay. Now, remember the, the, the line should be, um, it should be an open path. So, I click on the inner square or diamond right uh, control C to copy so it's in my clipboard right now so what I'm going to do I'm going to make this an open path so you click on the square right and you click on your node here shape tool okay and then I'm going to select this node here okay and then in here in the properties I click on this one for break curve so you're making the path open okay so it's an open path now so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to move one one node so you click on one node and there it's an open path there okay so it's an open path and it's gonna intersect only the shape so what I'm gonna do I click on the this um, this line here and then I'll put that to front so arrange order to front of page and hold on shift and click on the photograph that was power click and you go to simplify then you can delete this and you click on the image and you go to arrange break power clip apart and then you can just move this one and this one so you can delete this now remember we copied it now you can paste it and then you can put it behind so before that you can actually go hold on shift and then click on the bigger square and then combine it there you go yeah so now it's a nicer design so that's it. So then you can actually, you know, put some background here if you want. Change that color. That's it for the tutorial. I hope you learned from it.